Hello and welcome! It's good to see you again. Today, we will ask why and how do scientists speak with society. Let's start with the why. There are several roles for science communication within society. These include ensuring the accountability and legitimacy of publicly funded science, building trust in the processes and outcomes of science, and ensuring that our culture values science helping educate people so that they are scientifically literate and critical thinkers. It also has a practical role. Science communication is important because it provides individuals with reliable knowledge that they need in order to navigate their life, and also for decision makers who need to come up with informed policies. Science communication is mutually beneficial. It can also provide scientists with access to knowledge or data from the public and make science more relevant. For this reason, science communication is also said to enhance democracy, not just by having well-informed voters. Also, processes of participation, deliberation, and dialogue enable a discussion about social values and priorities, and how these should shape science policy. Science communication is also serving a cultural role, enabling people to value science as an achievement of our societies, giving us theoretical and aesthetical glasses through which to view the world. Science communication is fulfilling an economic purpose by recruiting the next generation of the technological workforce and finally, also acting as promotion of academic output. For all these practical, democratic, economic and cultural reasons, scientists are increasingly expected to communicate their research and its importance to different publics. But during our education, most of us are not trained in communicating science in an accessible way to diverse audiences. So it's not surprising that many are reluctant to participate in public engagement activities because we're feeling unqualified, lacking confidence, skill, and experience. So today, we'll talk about the motivations for and challenges of communicating science, learn about the different models for doing so, and talk with scientists who use social media to achieve their science communication goals. Mm -hmm.